Y'all need some hoes. Take some hoes. Tuesday, we did hello work on the big house. My body still hurts from that shit. <clears throat> And then, and then we went fishing. It was late as hell. We didn't get out there until like, it was like nine something. By the time we got out there to go fishing and shit on Tuesday night. And then today, we did a little bit of work on the house and whatnot. We like, I ain't, we ain't trying to be out here all, all day and shit. Like, on the other day. I We didn't start work on the house till like, it was like one o'clock. We got some work done. I did some touch ups and shit on some of the shit. And then um, <coughs> we went fishing. Me and my brother did. We went fishing. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just gotta get back. I ain't even going to house shit. Macy had called as soon as I was uh Macy called when I was bagging up. Like soon as soon as I parked the car, like bow, put that bitch in park. Macy had called. Cause I was on the phone with my mama, so it was like, oh I'm good. Bag the car to the driveway and shit. Macy was like, bow. I was like, yeah. I'm like, y'all slapping down there? She was like slapping. I'm like, oh my god, I'm glad I ain't pull up down there then. <clears throat> but, um, tired of shit. I was cold. Oh my god, I was so cold on Tuesday. It was fifth Tuesday night. Oh, so I didn't get home till like 2 something in the morning. <coughs> so I had to go, I had to drop Juice off. Then I had to drop my brother off. I came home. I, I didn't even eat Tuesday. Just like tonight, I ain't eat shit today. And I'm probably not. Like, I was gonna, I was gonna make this soup, but I'm like, I ain't even about to, I ain't even about to go in and get the can. I ain't even about to do all that. Like, I don't feel like it. I'm tired for real. I'm about to go in his trunk <laughs> and get this motherfucking Hennessy out this bitch, out the cooler. Oh, shit. Make me another drink. Oh my god, I spilled my damn near my whole can of mice hard and shit. At the water and shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck, man? <clears throat> but oh yeah, motherfucker called me talking about no New York got her number changed. I, I don't give a fuck. I told her to change her number. Change your number. Do all that. Do whatever it is you gotta do. Do it. Goodbye. <laughs> That means she can't call my mama no more. <laughs> That's what that means. She can't call my mama no more. You got a new number. That means you didn't want me to have your number or to be calling you. Because, I mean, I wasn't. But you still, you didn't want me to have your number or none of that shit. Good. That means you can't call my mama. Because <laughs> she's going to have your new number. Don't nobody pick up private calls over here on this end. So it's great. Glad you got a new number. Kudos. Anybody who watch this motherfucking video, don't call me and tell me shit about Ania or whatever the fuck her name is. I do not give a fuck. I, I do not give a flying fuck. <laughs> shit. Kudos to her. I don't care. Shit. Even better. I can throw all this shit away. Ain't got to keep. When you come over, get the rest of your shit. When you come to get the rest of your shit. Okay? I'm throwing the rest of her shit the fuck away. Like... She can't get mad. She brought this on herself. Once again, listening to other people. This shit. This shit is out of there. <laughs> Fuck. Explain that shit to her son because he wanted his shit up out of there. Like, so explain that shit to him, man. His uncle just brought him that motherfucking computer desk and shit not too long ago. So explain all this shit to him. So, But I, I mean, I really don't give a fuck. Like shit. I know motherfuckers, I thought you loved her and this and that. Man, I do. But like Tina Turner said, what's love got to do with it? Hmm? <laughs> what the fuck does love have to do with it? At this point, I am convinced 
motherfuckers don't be in a relationship for love no more. Okay, I'd rather not be in a relationship because that's how I was raised. I was raised with love. My grandmother loved me. So, I mean, she's, she's my, she was my favoriteest woman in the whole wide world. She still is, even in death. Like, she still is my, my favoriteest woman in the whole wide world. So, I don't give a fuck. You can't love me like how my grandmother did. And I'd rather not be in a relationship with you. And that's probably half of the problem. Besides that, I like being alone. But that's probably half of the motherfucking problem and shit. Because God don't make women like how he did when he was making my grandmother and them back in the day and shit. You feel me? He, he don't make women like that no more. So, man. Words can't explain, you know, the love <clears throat> or to describe, you know, my grandmother. Like, words just can't. She was a wonderful woman. You feel me? And you would have thought that Mia would have had at least some of her traits, whether they was related or not. They're, they're both Aries. Like, you would think. Like, my grandmother's birthday is April 2nd. Is April 3rd. Like, you would have thought nothing, totally nothing is nothing. Like, my grandmother, no, I mean, I mean yeah, I, I, probably, probably like, oh yeah, well, you keep defending her and, and, and maybes and this and that and shit because she has a mental problem. But, oh, okay. Yeah. No, okay. I, she has a mental problem. Clearly. You can see that she has a mental problem. That's why I'm like, why do you keep listening to people? These motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. If these people that she's calling her friend, they're not telling her that she should go really go get some fucking help, then them ain't your friends for real. <laughs> like, for real. And that goes with anybody, not just with her. Like, if you, you know, it's only going to get worse. That shit. That's the sad shit right there. It's only going to get fucking worse. So. <laughs> If anybody out there has come across this video or anything, like, you know you need help, just go get the help. If you got somebody telling you you need medication, you need help, just go get that help that you fucking need. Because this, your, the situation, your mental illness is not going to get better. It's, it's going to get worse. Like, on, on God, it's going to get worse. Just get the help that you need. You could be hurting somebody that actually really do care about you and really do love you and shit. Like, you hurt a lot a lot of people that's close to you or whatnot when you have um, mental health problems and shit, when you got a sickness like that and shit. <clears throat> so just go get the help you need. Take your medication. That's it. That's all you gotta do. But that's neat to hear there. But yeah, I don't. I mean, I really wish people would not call me or tell me anything about her. I don't care. I mean, it's sad, but I don't care. Like shit. Like I like I've been saying. One day she she's really good. She's gonna wake up and realize that you know, damn, well Frankie really did care about me. Frankie really did love me. But it's gonna be too late. You feel me? So. I mean, I'd rather not, like, she do need to go get some help, though, because <clears throat> she might not be so lucky with the next motherfucker, though, and that's, and that's uh, sad to say, because I never, I never lost an ex, you feel me, so, like, in death, so that's, that's really gonna be hard, you know, <clears throat> if, um, somebody was to you know out her because of the you know the way she act and shit like that or whatnot i mean motherfuckers don't play especially here in detroit i keep saying that well this is the whole michigan motherfuckers don't play out here in michigan like that shit <laughs> these niggas is something different out here i swear they just like chicago niggas say i say that shit all the time chicago niggas and chicago bitches they they're the same <laughs> They're the they're the fucking same. Like that shit is no different for real to me. <laughs> no difference or whatnot. But <clears throat> <clears throat> oh my gosh, I shouldn't have been out there at that water. I'm getting sick all over here. But especially with this hat on today, I should have put on a, a scully 
But shit, Tuesday when I was out there, I still, the wind still was ripping through my motherfucking ears. Like, oh, I'm going to be super fucking sick. I already know it. And then we, me and Juice, we didn't have a jacket for real. I forgot I had, um, I had a uh, house robe in the trunk and shit. I'm like, hey, it's a fucking house robe. I'm about to put this on. I said, hey, Juice, you want my vest? He was like, shit, yeah, I'll take it. I'm like, yeah, you gonna need something. You need to protect your chest and your back and shit. He ain't had no sleeves. And my house robe ain't had no sleeves. So I took them bitches off <laughs> or whatnot. But my house robe had a motherfucking hood on it, so. I was really trying to protect my motherfucking ears because I know once I get an ear infection, I'm going down. I'm down for the count. But yeah, um, that's I'd rather not hear nothing about Nia. I don't care what she's doing, what number she got now. I don't care. Shit. Um, I mean, I can, I can do is pray for her. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. The only thing I can do at this point is just pray for her. But, yeah, that's what you hear of it now. But, um, <clears throat> my motherfucking, um, I woke up yesterday morning. Oh, my God. My motherfucking thighs was burning like a motherfucker. I said, boy, you would have thought I was just constantly, all day, running up and down the stairs and shit. And I wasn't even... I don't know why my thighs, my shit was burning. I woke up, I couldn't even, I couldn't even turn over in the bed. Nigga, I fell in the bed. That's how tired I was Tuesday when I came in. I woke up. I woke up Wednesday morning, and you just got ace right there in my face, wagging his tail and shit like, bro, <laughs> go. Nigga, turn around, look at me, and walk away and shit. Like, why are you in my face, bro? I don't know what he wanted. Because he definitely wasn't about to get in the bed with me. He definitely not. I think Ace, like, being the only dog around, because that nigga just be so happy and shit. He just be wagging his, <laughs> his tail and shit, jumping up and down and shit. Like, do not jump on me, bro. Because he always want to jump on you. And then when he jump on you, he like push you and shit. Like, bro, stop doing that shit. <laughs> stop it. But he like, shit. It's like, is you like being only dog girl? And then this nigga, I was closing the door and shit. And this nigga standing at the door crying and shit. I'm like, bro, are you crying? I had to open the door. I'm like, sir, are you crying, sir? I'm like, don't cry. Please don't cry. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. Turn around, look at me again, walk away, and say, <laughs> Nigga, like being only dog. But, anyways, Juice and Joey won't. But, Juice, he talking about, I kind of like Faith. I don't give we'll take her then. I don't give a fuck. And then, Joey, just patting, just patting on Faith. I'm like, what a fucking traitor. This is why I don't want this fucking dog. Besides the fact that she chews up all my shit. This is why I don't want this fucking dog, bro. You're, she's a fucking traitor. She's a goddamn traitor. Like, you can have her then. He talking about, I don't want this dog. Right. <laughs> don't nobody want her. Poor dog. Don't nobody want her. I don't. Yeah. I definitely don't. My motherfucking body hurt. My motherfucking shoulder. My shit was hurt so bad. I thought my shit was about to. I thought my shit was about to break again. <laughs> that was so painful when I dislocated my shoulder. It was so painful. Oh, my God. I don't ever want to go through that pain again. <laughs> that shit was so painful. I said, this should be against the law. <laughs> Let's see. I had to find me a movie to watch. They need to come out with a new Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> they coming out with all these new movies. Hey, you know they uh they came out with another Beverly Hills and shit. Beverly Hills Cop or whatever that shit called called with Eddie Murphy. I'm like, what? Hey, they said that shit was on Netflix. I should look that shit up. See if it really is on Netflix and shit. I mean the old ones is good. I know this this latest one got to be good. 
I got the bad boys coming out. I can't wait to go see that. You know, bad boys is always good. <laughs> bad boys always. Every last single movie Martin Lawrence did, that shit was good. <clears throat> but I'm about to get up off this video because I'm definitely not about to make this motherfucker super duper long. No reason because I'm not even talking about nothing for real. Um, not talking about nothing for real. Y'all niggas did some hoes. Ow! I'm about to order me some food. Because I'm not about to cook nothing. And I'm not about to go nowhere. I'm about to get up off this phone, though. Slap me a movie and go to sleep. Did I tell y'all that? Y'all niggas with some hoes? I think I told y'all like three times now. Here it is. This is Ryan. Them niggas not going to the Super Bowl next year, so I don't know why everybody happy. Or you thinking they about to go. Cause y'all niggas some hoes. Stay from my heat talking to me, boy.